Hello, Colors. Welcome to another very interesting episode of Viva Barca, where we are going to be discussing on the Ballon d'Or 2021 result, talking about the big story, Lionel Messi wins his seventh Ballon d'Or. What an achievement. We are also going to be talking about Pedri Gonzalez, who won the Copa Trophy, a trophy given for the best young player of the year. Pedri won that award and also talking about Alexia Potelas who won the Ballon d'Or for the women category of course still from FC Barcelona. Barcelona dominated the award of course Messi is a Paris Saint-Germain player and PSG will count that as Diaz but of course not to forget Messi won that award more from FC Barcelona because it was last season even though what more contributed to that award is his you know the Copa America as we all know so guys we're going to be discussing on those achievements from those our great players so guys as we get ready to discuss those please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end Barca, Barca, Barca. it's official Lionel Messi has been awarded the Ballon d'Or 2021. Messi continues to cement his legacy as one of the best, if not the best ever, you know, having previously won the prestigious honor six times. The ex-Barcelona captain got his hands on Ballon d'Or number seven. You know, it has not been an, you know, an, an easy road for him last season, you know, for Messi. You know, over the past year, but he managed to lead Barca to the Copa del Rey triumph in 2023-21 season. That was followed by the Copa America 2021 triumph with um, Argentina in the summer, bringing an end to a long and arduous quest for an international trophy. Messi's move to Paris Saint-Germain also has not planned out, you know, all too well so far. But his contributions with Barcelona and Argentina were enough to clinch the Golden Orb for the seventh time. Messi has scored 41 goals for club and country in 2021, while he also registered 17 assists, making a total goal contribution of 58 in the calendar year. Bayern Munich superstar Robert Lewandowski you know, has plundered 64 goals and chalked up 10 assists in 2021, while he also won a Bundesliga title. But his struggles with Poland at the UEFA Euro 2020 meant he ended up coming up short. You know, in the Ballon d'Or race, finishing as a runner-up behind Messi. The Barcelona legend's previous six Ballon d'Or wins came in 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 15, and 19, while he finished second on five occasions in 2008, 18, 14, 16, and 17. The seventh Ballon d'Or triumph, you know, coming after glory with his national team, will certainly be a sweet one for Messi, one he will cherish for a longest time. Then talking about Pedri's own award, you know, within the span of one season, the Barcelona young midfielder made a mark on global football. The teenager went from a hidden talent in Spanish Segunda Division to a name known in every household. Now, Pedri is reaping the individual reward for his scintillating season. After collecting the Golden Boy Award last week from Italian outlet Toto Sport, Pedri reached new levels on Monday night. His latest accolade you know, come as part of the 2021 Ballon d'Or Gala, the recently turned 19-year-old was the only Barcelona representative in the top 30 nominees of the pre prestigious award. As revealed by France Football earlier in the day, Pedri finished 24th on the rankings for the Ballon d'Or. However, he did get his, you know, accolade in the form of the Copa Trophy, the award for the best young player under the age of 21, was introduced by the French outlet back in 2018. Kylian Mbappe, of course, was the first winner of that award that 2018, followed by Matic Delic in 2019. Pedri becomes only the third player in history to win the trophy, you know, with um, last year's award being cancelled because of COVID. Pedri made 52 appearances for Barcelona last season and, you know, was an integral part of the Copa del Rey victory. Moreover, he earned 10 caps for his national team and started regularly for Luis Enrique's side in the European Championships. The youngster was crowned the best young player of the tournament before he headed to Tokyo as part of the National Olympic team. In Japan, he was a part of the side that won the silver medal. Injuries have not been kind to Pedri this season as he suffered a second relapse last week. However, his return to action is only a matter of time. Needless to say, Pedri will be a vital part of Javi's team upon his return. Then finally, talking about Alessia Putellas, 
you know, in the 2021 Ballon d'Or, a number of big names were present on the women's side of things. Among a host of stars globally, there were three Barcelona players in the top 10 from FC Barcelona Femini. You know, Jenny Homoso, Lieke Martins, and Alexander Postelas were the three in that illustrious list. Much deservedly, the winner on the women's front was Alessia Puchelas. You know, she had been the best midfielder in all of Europe and easily the best player in the world as well. Her technique had been consistently better than her peers. Despite being a midfielder, she scored 33 goals. Additionally, she produced an impressive 19 assists last season for Barcelona. She scored in the Champions League final as Barcelona won the tournament by 4 goals to nil. Additionally, she captained her side to the first ever treble in her history making amends for their failures back in 2019 and 2020. This is possibly the first of many in her career, especially given she has just approached her prime at 27 years of age. So guys, what do you make of all this award, especially Lionel Messi winning an incredible seventh Ballon d'Or? Make sure you drop your comments down below. So guys, with that, we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so, so you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona, yeah on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.